Are you looking forward to the day you can retire, spend the rest of your life sitting on a beach, sipping Mai Tais, and just becoming a fat, sunburned, beached whale? Well, if you are, maybe you should watch this video and let's see if we can rethink that program a little bit. You know, I, I think most people have a fairy tale vision in their mind of what retirement is going to be like. That notion that you're going to ride off into the sunset and you're going to play golf every day. He said, sit on the beach drinking Mai Tais. That's the, the fairy tale version. You, you've kind of got it in your mind that you're tired of what you've been doing for a living all this time and you're going to just go off and relax. Well, a couple things to think about as you contemplate that issue. In a study done by Shell Oil, they found that people who retired at 55 years old and lived to be 65 died 37% sooner than people who retired at 65. They also found that people who retired at 55 were more likely to die within 10 years of retirement. So what's up with that? You may have put plenty of deposits into your bank account to be able to ride that wave uh, successfully when it comes to finances. But if you haven't put any deposits or very few deposits in your health bank account, then the statistics go against you. You know, there are plenty of examples of people who have found financial success after they were 50 years old, 60, even 70 and beyond, who started over, started a new career, went down a completely different path than they'd been on and found financial success. That's a subject for an entirely different video, but my focus here is on your physical success. Because without the physical body, without the physical conditioning, you don't have the stamina to do anything, and you do have to ride that wave until, first of all, your body starts to fail, and then shortly behind that is your mind. And statistics show that, you know, as you get weaker, the biggest danger is falling down, breaking a hip. I mean, we've all made jokes about it, but it's, it's the truth. That's what happens to you. If you let your body go, the mind's going to follow, and your health is going to follow, and it's going to be an unpleasant... I mean, at 64 years old, I've had at least the experience of watching older people in my life and how they treated themselves as they were when they were younger and watched how their last 10 or 20 years went. And it's not a pretty picture, and most of us probably know somebody that fits that mold, that, that fits that description. So let's look at a bunch of people who have made a transformation in their body, even though they did get themselves in crappy condition, they've fixed the problem and they had to fix it up here first. I always got to point that out. Health and fitness, the lack of it is a mental condition. It's not a physical condition. Till you fix it upstairs, until you get it in your mind that you are a fit person, a healthy person, and you behave like a fit person and a healthy person, you'll be able to diet down for a, an event like a wedding or something and maybe get yourself in good enough condition to, to perform at some function, but it'll, you'll just slide right back into the same place that you were until you change your mind and get your mind on track. So anyway, with that said, let's take a look at some of these folks who've really done a good job of changing their lives. We're seeing more and more people in the second half century of their lives that are capable of doing extraordinary things, like even running speed races or lifting weights at 100 years old. And another phenomenon is that we see more successful guys that are jacked because they understand that the discipline required to be jacked is the same discipline that's required to be successful in business and in life. But besides those people, there's just more and more people who are beginning to realize that retirement doesn't have to be just about kicking back, relaxing, and essentially waiting to croak. There's only so much time you can spend drinking margaritas on the beach or playing golf before finally you're gonna get bored and you're gonna realize that it's kind of a struggle to even get up in the morning because you just don't have a purpose. So because when you do finally decide to pull the plug and retire, you need three things. You need financial resources, you need physical resources, and you need a purpose. If you're missing even one leg on that tripod, you're gonna have a challenge 
with the years that come after you quit your job. You know, we spend the first 40, 50, 60 years of our lives gathering up stuff, gathering up financial resources, and gathering up information, gathering up knowledge. Unfortunately, with the economy being what it is today, there's a lot of people who get to retirement age and haven't been able to put together enough financial resources to just coast for the rest of their lives. But the good news is that we all have gathered a lot of wisdom by the time we hit that age. And if we take the example of some of these folks and make sure that our health bank is full of deposits, then we have an opportunity once we hit retirement age to reinvent ourselves. It's a chance to have a whole new life, a whole new experience, a whole new success in life. You can always make more money, but it's difficult if you don't have your health. So if you're getting close to retirement age or if you're already there, maybe it's time to rethink what retirement really means. The advances in science and technology are making it possible for us to live longer and longer. So it's very worthwhile for you to keep your body in great physical condition so that you can take advantage of those advances. And instead of sliding on a banana peel to the edge of your grave in 10 years after you retire, maybe you have an extra 50 years. Imagine what you can do with an extra 50 years and a healthy body. You might have the ability to change the world. Rethink your retirement. Get yourself in shape. Thanks for watching.